Hey, Brooklyn. Meet me at the bar so I can tell you what the hell happened when I stopped over Carlos' house. I talked to her last night to let her know we was gonna stop by. Do you think maybe she forgot? Or she could be sleeping. I don't know. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. I keep calling her, but it just goes to voicemail. Maybe we should come back. Hey, Mama Angie. Well, look who came to see me. Hi. How you been? I don't know how I've been. But how y'all been? We're doing okay. Come on in. I'm fine, baby. I don't need that. Maybe you should drink just a little water. I just said I'm fine, didn't I? Yes, you did, but it also looked like you could use some water. Have you eaten anything? Yeah, Mama Angie. You hungry? We can fix you something to eat. No, I'm not hungry. Did I say I was hungry? This ain't the way. What ain't the way? Tell me. Drinking. You're drinking again. And you know what happens when you start drinking. And I just... You can't tell me what to do in my own damn house. If I want to have a drink, I will. Jamal loves you, Mama Angie. And so do I. We're just worried about you, that's all. about me too but I'm fine too I just want my baby back oh man have you spoken to detective Blaine lately yeah but nothing's changed It's been six months. It's been six months. Do you know how I felt? 
when I went down there that day and I thought my baby would be under that sheet. I, I can't even imagine. And we still don't know anything? If she's alive? If she's dead? We're going to find her. You've been saying we're going to find her for the past several months, and we still haven't. So, yeah, I talked to that detective. But she doesn't know anything. We are not going to stop looking for her. Like Mama said, we have to stay positive. I know. You're right. And I'm sorry, Jamal. I didn't mean You don't need to apologize. We all miss and want her back. I just don't understand what the police are doing. They should have arrested Denzel. He gotta know something. Is everything okay? Yeah. Tammy just texted me and told me she's gonna drop off little Jake to me. How is he doing? He's doing good. I'm glad. And I am so proud of you. And I know Tiffany would be happy too. If she were here. Yeah. She definitely would be. She was crazy about the J too. Yeah. She used to always buy him cars and other little toys. I used to tell her like, sis, he good. She ain't care though. He asked me about her last week. What did you tell him? I tried to break it down to him where he would understand. But I couldn't. Mama was there, so she was able to talk to him about it. Well, that's good, Mama was there. I keep saying I'm a caller. I keep forgetting. She says she wants to come over here, too. I guess I'll call her today.
what you want? Just came to check on you, man. Sean told me he ain't heard from you in a minute. What I need to be in contact with him for? I'm good. Nah, you ain't good, man. Look at you. Shit, what's going on with your little brother and sister, though? How they doing? Where y'all stand at? Why? Doc, you care now. And don't ask me shit about my family. I can see you still emotional about that whole daddy shit. I don't feel any type of way. You ain't my fucking daddy, nigga. <laughs> you can feel however you want to feel, my nigga. That don't make that shit true. I ain't know it's your daddy neither, but now that I do. What? Now that you know, you expect me to be happy? You ain't never been here for me. You ain't never been here for us. My real family was there for me. Look, man. You know when I was 10? My mom told me you left her. She told me you didn't want me. She told you that shit? Well, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. I ain't want no random baby with no chick. I was just fucking from the club. I thought that shit was for the best. It's still for the best. I don't need you, nigga. I'm good out here. Nah, you ain't good. But if you ain't running with me and Sean, who you running with? Myself. Well, check this out, myself. You better be real careful out here. Because once they find out you my son, they coming for your ass. I don't got nothing to worry about then because I ain't your son. <laughs> you can say that shit a million times, my nigga. That don't make it no different. You did because we got the same blood that makes me your son? It don't. How the fuck you think I feel, my nigga? How the fuck you think I feel knowing I got a whole fucking son out here? And not only that, I got the nigga working for me on the corner? I would at least made your ass a boss. I don't give a fuck how you feel, bruh. Look, man, I got some business to attend to, but this shit ain't over. Nah, it's done, bruh. You ain't gotta call me daddy, but I ain't your bro. Now I've been real lenient with your emotional ass. Cause this whole daddy shit is fucked up. But don't mistake my kindness for weakness, my nigga. Now you got a decision to make. And to be honest with you, I don't give a fuck whether or not you my son or just another nigga on the street. But one thing for sure, and two things for certain, don't no nigga talk to me like that without his ass being in the dirt. You remember that shit, nigga. y'all y'all put in hard work yeah. i always tell each one of you that hard work will win games what's up sis was we supposed to meet no i just wanted to check on you Those boys love you. I don't see why I ain't doing shit for real. <laughs> what are you talking about? You put in a lot of work with the youth in the community. This whole time I think I'm doing something, but I'm not, man. I always try to be there for people, but I only end up letting people down. Our fucking sister is missing, and I'm not doing shit to find her. Jamal, you tripping. You're doing everything you can to help find her. It ain't a fuck enough. And we still don't know where she at. You heard Mama Angie? I be trying to stay all positive and shit. But for real, for real. I 
don't think we're going to find her. You know, Tiff looked up to me ever since she was little. I've, I've always, always wanted a little sister. And ever since she came into our lives, I took on that big sister role. When she introduced me to Denzel, I should have known something wasn't right. How would you have known anything was wrong anyway? And even if you did, that still doesn't mean Tiffany would have listened to you. I don't see why not. Be because as women, we don't even see the things that we should. We also don't listen to anyone when we think we're in love. You really think we're gonna find her? Yes. I do believe we're gonna find her. I mean, you're just saying that. You don't believe it. No, no. I truly believe we're gonna find her. Well, I don't. Well, I have enough belief for the both of us. How can you stand there and be so positive? <laughs> How can you stand there and be so positive? This world is fucked up. Little kids is getting shot and killed. The police still killing us because we black. Look what happened to Elam. He ain't deserve that shit just like we don't deserve this. We have to stay positive, because if we don't- Where's she at, Tara? Where is our sister? I forgot I was supposed to link up with Dion to pass out some of these flyers. He ain't doing good for real. He keeps saying it's his fault that Tiff is missing. Why would he think that? He said because he was in and out of prison. He wasn't there to look after Tiff like he should have. That is not his fault. And when I see him, I'm going to tell him that. I feel him no. Because I was out here and I still didn't. That is not true. Well, it feel like it is. But look, I told bro I was going to link up with him and get some of these flyers out. Okay, well, I'm going to come pass that some with y'all. Okay. My car over there. I mean, are you sure? You don't have anything you need to do? I need to do this. The kids are still at Reese, and it's not like I have to meet up with Carlos or anything. What you mean? What's going on with you and Carlos? Did Carlos tell you he's a Muslim? Yeah. What that got to do with it? He's married. What? He's married or separated? He's married. Married. I spoke to his wife when I stopped by his place several months ago. His wife? Why you ain't tell me? Because I can handle it. And with Tiff being missing... You my sister too. You should have told me. I need to see him. I got something for him. No, Jamal. You do not have to worry about me and Carlos because we're done. Nah. Niggas gonna quit hurting my sisters. 
I need to see him, Tara. Where are you at? It's not going to change anything. He's still going to be looking for a second wife. He was out here looking for a second wife? Man, what is he on? I actually talked to his wife. She said that he stays part-time in Philly and he came here for a second wife. Second wife? So was he on that polygamy bullshit? Yes. He practices polygamy. Harry? He never told me that. Had he had told me, we wouldn't have never grown as close as we did. So what you gonna do? The only thing I can do, and that's walk away. I mean, I'm good at it, right? I walked away from Reese, the father of my children. This would be nothing. I hear you. But I also know that you really liked Carlos. I did. And I'm not denying that, but... I'm not becoming a man second anything. Man, the hits just keep coming. Yeah, they do, don't they? But we always have each other. We have one unread message sent Thursday, October 24, 2019. Hey Brooklyn, meet me at the bar so I can see you with the show happening. Oh my Yeah, I made a nice amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ho hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Let me call you back. Why you and that nigga Nico keep thinking y'all can roll up on me? I ain't trying to hear shit you got to say. Just like I wasn't trying to hear what Nico had to say. It ain't nothing you can say to me to make me start running with y'all again. Look, I'm good. Just like I told that nigga Nico. Hey, your mom. 
Look, you don't need to worry about that. For real, little homie? I just want you to be straight out here. It's a lot of shit going on. Bodies dropping. Look, it ain't no little, little homie no more. I'm good. All right, man, listen. You know where to find me. I know where to find you, but I don't need to find you. Hey, Sean. And tell that nigga Nico, he ain't gonna keep threatening me. Cause I'm gonna put him in that same dirt. I see you finally came to see me. I thought it'd be good to come see you since you've been looking for me.